You've put your blood, sweat, and tears into creating a storefront that lights you up, serves your clients well, and contributes significantly to the community you love. You are my hero, and I affectionately call you a rebel woman. Hey there, my name is Melissa Rose, a brick and mortar business owner with a handful of kiddos and a few passion projects that I head up like this one. I'm also your visibility coach and consultant for a service-based business like yours. I'm passionate about helping small business owners thrive in their community and become the only option in town for their industry. In this podcast, we're going to share the nitty gritty of running a successful brick and mortar business by sharing stories, talking strategies, and learning practical tips to run a kick-ass business. Ready to be inspired, empowered, and equipped to create the small business of your dreams? Let's get real. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Brick and Water Visibility. So good to be here because I am going to speak very real, off the cuff, authentically about accepting where you are and what that means for your mindset and your business and your personal life. Before we dive in, I just want to let everybody know to go grab your most popular, your most engaged, your best social post from the past week, wherever you put it, and bring it on over to your Google business profile. If you don't know what I mean by that, you need to go grab my Google workshop. This is a free workshop that I have for all my brick and mortar business owners. No matter what industry you are, you need to optimize your Google business profile so that you can be found, liked, and trusted faster. This workshop's completely free. It's about 30 minutes long. It gives you step-by-step how to, what to do, um, all the things so that you are found when people are searching for you. Because when people need your products, they need them now. They don't want to wait. They don't want to search. Everybody spends so much time on socials. And honestly, when people are ready for you, they want to find you. So you got to be found quickly by going to Google and optimizing that Google business profile. So go to mismelissarose.com forward slash deals. That's where all the buttons are for all the goodies, newsletter, Google workshop, other free workshops I have. And of course, the podcast. Everybody, thank you so much for listening. I know as somebody who has a routine morning For example, I just got done walking. It's like 7 a.m. when I record this because I had such a great conversation with another business owner friend, and that uh, sparked today's conversation. And I understand that you all have routines and schedules, so maybe you're washing dishes, maybe you're driving, maybe you're doing your walk of the day or your exercise of the day. So I appreciate you putting me in your ears because I know there are so many amazing podcasts out there. So thank you, thank you. Diving into today's topic, talking with this beautiful business owner, and I asked her the question, what are you looking forward to? And she said, I'm looking forward to 2024 with no big excitement, like just no big plans. She moved into a new space in 2023. She had some personal things that were big in her life, and she's looking forward to 2024 being calm and peaceful. And I I didn't say this, but I was thinking that's not going to happen. We're business owners. There's going to be up and downs. There's going to be some turbulence. I love what Dave Ramsey said. Running a business is like riding a bull with a rattlesnake in your mouth. Bust out laughing. It is. There's a lot of ups and downs, but what are you looking forward to? And that was her answer. And I have to agree or want the same thing. I just want peace and calm. However, We know as moms and partners and business owners and women that it's it's not going to be like that, but going into the new season with that hope. The reason I titled this or inferred accepting your reality is because as high achievers in business, you're a business owner, you're a high achiever, you're a go-getter, we don't like to accept where we are because that might mean that's where it ends. And I had that aha just a few minutes ago. Just because we accept our reality doesn't mean it stops there. Doesn't mean the journey stops. Doesn't mean our business stops expanding. And I just want to share that aha with you because I had this past year, I have not, I have not been uh, vague. It's been a hard year for Ms. Melissa Rose 2023. And I, much of the year was uh, just questioning, why, where am I, why am I here, what am I supposed to do, is this right, 
just a lot of that in my life. And the summer into early fall, uh, there were many moments of tears and not sleeping. And I am a high achiever. I'm not going to fail. I am not going to go down without a fight. Um, I'm not a confrontational person, but I'm not going to just sit by and let things happen. I have a dear friend who's like, Melissa, you are like riding a tiger and your face is clawed and muddy and bruised and bloodied and you're not going to go down. And sometimes that's really, really great. And sometimes that's really, sometimes you just got to let things go, right? And letting things go is very hard. I, for those of you that don't know, I was married for 15 years. And honestly, (laughs) after year one, we should have just said, you know what, this isn't working. But damn it, People in my family don't get divorced. We're going to make this work. And then five kids later, careers later, just a lot of stuff, we finally decided to say, you know, this is, this is not meant to be. And it wasn't without a good fight for doing it, all right? So I'm saying that because I, that's the type of person I am. And I have a lot of proof in my life, which is awesome. I have a lot of proof of figuring it out, of coming back. My, my friend's joke, <laughs> she's... She just keeps getting up. You can't fight her. You just she's gonna keep going. She you can you can do things and say things and not not excel or the programs don't work or the the event didn't sell out, but she's not quitting. She's not quitting. And I I love that trait. I love that trait about me. I'm resilient, okay? And so are you guys. You keep going, you keep fighting. But to accept your reality. For me, I realized when I if I say accept my reality, that in my mind meant quitting or stopping or not growing. And that, that exception, uh, I'm sorry, the accepting of your reality is hard when it's said out of love. For example, my family, Melissa, Melissa, look at, look at where you're at. Look at things like, like trying to beat me over the head. And part of it is denial. Part of it is is Melissa being glass half full and always thinking, what if? So this past fall, I experienced record low numbers of enrollment for my studio, for my dance studio that I have. And that was, that was a curl in the ball. Like why? I don't know why. I don't know like how, you know, after being in business 15 years and we're not in a pandemic and (laughs) like I, you know, there's so many things that I'm just super questioning. I'm questioning my worth. I'm questioning my value. I'm questioning my impact in the community. I'm questioning who I am as a person. I feel like a fake. I feel like, oh my gosh, why am I even bothering with this podcast? Because I'm all about being the only option in town and clearly I'm not, you know? So just all the things considering closing my studio, considering, you know, it, there's two crossroads here because I do have my lease ending this summer. So I legit, am I going to close? Am I going to move back to my house? Am I going to just sell what I can? You know, all the things like just, it messes with your mind. Finally, I, after lots of like prayer and quiet time and uh, meditation and really journaling. And j- I mean, this, this was not weeks. This was months, you guys. This was not a quick thing, but just really thinking about all the options and where I'm going and, and you know, going through the process of pl- other things. I just said, Melissa, this is where you are. This is your reality. So you cannot keep thinking that another hundred students are going to come in the door next week. We have to plan for now. So what do you need to do now for the path of least resistance to keep you going? So that was part of it. And the other part of it is still that high achiever is I am not going down without a fight. I am not going down and knowing that I didn't do everything I could. So I invested in a coaching program for studio owners. Within the first week, a uh, couple of weeks here, but the conversation of you don't budget or price or plan for the future. Yes, you can hope for the future. You can hope that this expands, you know, that you get this num- number of students, but you need to do your numbers and your financials and your business plan and your packaging and your marketing for what exists right now. And it was just like, ding, 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 accept your reality and make it work. <laughs> make it work for you right now. And when I, it was probably recently, probably within the month that I just fully accepted where I'm at 
Okay. So this was probably early October that I was just like, this is where I'm at. This is what I need to do. I, I, I didn't even know what I needed to do. I just accepted where I'm at. And I was very open to what possibilities could happen. So what did I do? I just let go. I honored that this is a really hard season. This is hard. This is really hard because I don't know what to do. The path isn't clear. I have so many possibilities, which was exciting. It wasn't like I was stuck with, I don't know, I, I, there's no options. There's options. And a friend said, Melissa, either option you take, you're going to be successful. It's, you have proof of that. You're going to be successful in whatever path you take, whether it's closing the studio and getting a day job, whether it's getting a director of the program, whether it's selling it, whether it's uh, moving the studio back smaller, back home. There's, there's options on the table. It's which one do you take? And I just said, I, this is where I'm at. I'm open to anything. Keep walking through doors. Just walk through doors. Have conversations walk through doors, meet people, walk through doors. And that's what I'm doing. And then you guys, the ideas come, the connections come, the confidence comes, the doors open. And I'm not saying I'm to the other side. I am not. But I have so much excitement again for my business. And that was lacking probably for the last nine to 12 months. There was a season in my business that I just hated my business. I shouldn't say hate. I love my business. I was just a little chippy at it. I wasn't very happy with her. My business was sucking the energy, the life, the creativity out of me. And I, like that person on a tiger with blood and bruises and cuts and scrapes, I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to figure this out. This is not what I planned. This is not blah, blah, blah. And then it just kept dissolving. The numbers kept going down. I'm like, why is this? I'm working so hard. And I had a, another business friend say, Melissa, just let it go. Just stop looking at it. Just stop looking at the numbers. And I understood what she was saying, but I was so in the mess of it that I couldn't. I was just like, no, I can't. It, this is my livelihood here. I can't stop looking at the numbers. I can't stop trying and, and, marketing the daylights out of this business and, you know, doing whatever I could. But there's that balance, that double-edged sword of accepting where you are, taking a breath, and just being open to what needs to happen for you in the right way. And it's so hard. And that's what I want to just bring it back home here with my friend that I was talking to today. today. She goes, it is so hard for high achievers to accept where they are right now because we're always wanting more aren't we you guys and that's good that's not a bad thing don't ever think it's bad to want more you can make a million dollars and you're still going to want more you can have the best most uh, amazing service everything everybody knows you and you're still going to want more that's good that's awesome that's your that's why we are where we are who we are but to accept where we are right now with thankfulness, with knowing that I'm exactly where I need to be right now, knowing that you will figure it out, knowing that the plan is there, knowing that the opportunities are there, knowing that it will all work out. It always does. And you guys, that's what I kept just playing in my head over and over. This will work out. It always does. I'm exactly where I need to be. I'm learning so much right now. This is going to be such a great learning lesson for me this season. And you guys, it has. It has and it will continue. And the people that I've met, the connections that I've had, the conversations that I've had, it's been so good, so good. And they always say you learn the most during your hardest times. And this past year is one of the hardest times I've ever had in my professional career. And let me just say, learning so much, learning so much, and genuinely kind of excited about 2024 because of what has happened even just in the past four to six months with ideas and the conversations and connections I've made. I want that to get you excited about where you are, no matter where you are. You might have had a, a fabulous year, 
And that's awesome. Congrats. That's amazing. Well done. And maybe this year has been tough, but either way, tough or hard or great and amazing. Accepting your reality, being open to what's ahead. Accept your reality. It does not mean your story is done. You have a huge landscape in front of you. There's so many, so many stories of your life that have yet to be told. Take a moment of thanks. Be grateful for where you are. Be grateful for what you are learning in this moment. And have your hands wide open, your arms wide open for what's ahead. Have a great week. We'll see you here same time, same place next week. Peace. Bye-bye.